Hi, welcome back with morning. We're going to be making a weather theme fruit tart today. So, we are going to be needing some sugar, some butter, some cream cheese, whipped cream, vanilla extract. You can get your own pre-made pie crust or make your own with graham crackers and just throw it in the oven and cook it for a couple minutes with butter. And then you're going to need some fruits. Um, we're going to do a mango, oranges, kiwi, some blackberries, and some raspberries. For the measuring, you're going to need a teaspoon, a half cup, something to mix it up with, and also some mixing bowls. So here's the cream cheese. Uh, if you didn't thaw this out earlier, it will have to be smooth so that you can mix it up with everything else. So you can throw it in the microwave for a couple seconds. But keep an eye on it so it doesn't pop anywhere. So here's the cream cheese that's been softened in the microwave. It took us about 30 seconds to soften. Um, next to that, we're going to add half a cup of sugar. And then we're going to mix this up until it's kind of smooth. And then we're going to add the whipped cream to it to make it so it's nice and fluffy. Add the whipped cream as needed. So this is how it should look after when you mix it with just the sugar and cream cheese. So you're going to add a half tablespoon of vanilla extract into it too. And then add the whipped cream as needed. So this is how it should look after when you're done mixing. It took us about half a tub, which is a big tub like this, to get it smooth like this. Make sure you don't over whip it, otherwise it could deflate it. Next, you're going to put it on in your pie crust and basically just put it in so this is how it should look after when you put it in you can use a wet spoon to smooth it all out so it looks like this so these are the fruits that we got um, i'm going to show you how to peel each one of them it's a mango orange and kiwi so with a mango um, in general if it's ripe enough you could actually just cut it in half with a curve because there is a big seed in here um, and then just use a cup to slide it off and it'll be a lot easier and faster. But since this is not ripe enough, we are just going to peel it off like how you would peel off an apple. So here's the mango fully peeled. Uh, what we're going to do next is actually score it like in a checker formation. So when you actually peel it off, it makes it faster instead of cutting it individually. So this is how it looks like when you checker it out. And then next thing all you do is slice it all off. So this is how it's going to kind of look like when you actually cut it all off. It's really slippery just so you know. should be it so next we're gonna do the kiwi uh, so what you want to do is cut it in half and then score it like we did on the mango and then take a spoon and then scoop it all out and I'll show you that so I'm gonna be scoring this just doing like a regular checker go up and down it doesn't have to look nice either way because you're gonna have to scoop it all out anyways just be careful, the skin of the kiwi is really delicate, so it might actually break if you cut too deep. So here, scooping it out. There you go. So next, we're going to do the orange. So I'm going to cut the top and show you actually how to cut the oranges as efficiently as possible and fast as possible without actually having to take it individually apart. So this is how it looks like when it's peeled. Um, so what you want to do, you see these white lines, they are the individual oranges by itself. So what you're going to do is actually cut in between those white lines to get the oranges out. By doing that you get the whole piece out and this makes it faster to cut and you don't have to actually separate it apart. 
that. So here is all our stuff that's been prepped. Um, the only thing you need to do next is actually just decorate your fruit tart. That's it. So this is what we have. I mean, the fruit tart at the end. So next, what you want to do is put it in the fridge for about an hour before you serve it. 